a vote. Joining me now is a member of the Freedom Caucus, Congressman Louis Gomer of Texas. Thank you for being here this morning, Congressman. Certainly. Always good to be with you. Thank you. As a member of the Freedom Caucus, you were one that was adamantly opposed to that GOP health care bill. First, can you tell us why? Well, first of all, it feels a great deal like uh, the 2008 Wall Street bailout when we had immense pressure on us, you just got to pass this. And, and so, and it sounds like a lot like in, in uh, President H.W. Bush's administration when establishment said, ah, just, it's a little bitty tax increase. Don't worry about it. We, we got to get this done. That same kind of mentality, when this bill gives actually more power to health and human services, I totally trust Tom Price, but this is like during the W. Bush administration. They said, if you're a patriot, you'll give us all this extra power to snoop on people, maybe some Americans, but give us this power. We won't abuse it. They didn't so much, but we gave so much extra power that the Obama administration has been able to use right and left. And when people find out, if this bill passes, as it is, people find out, number one, their rates go up. Number two, this was not a repeal. It gave government more power. Uh, well, Congressman, you had an opportunity. I think you had an opportunity to meet twice with the president. With right? the president. You, you yeah, met with the president, the caucus twice. did, and what was the conversation yeah. and what came out of that? We, number one, we had to do something to drive the cost down. We said people are going to be outraged if they find out costs are going to keep going up. They said, well, give Tom Price more power and he'll help bring it down. We were demanding we got to do some things to bring down prices. People can't stand this. Okay. And when they see that it's here, oh, and the president agreed with us twice. And each time previous. And uh, Ryan said, no, 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 you can't do that. He wanted to make a deal. He was ready to make a deal. And, and we were negotiating with, with Paul, with Kevin McCarthy, right up through Tuesday. And all of a sudden, we had a meeting and they decided, we're so close to having the number we need. Let's go to war and get the president right. to help us go to war against the people that defended so the president us to today. when Ryan and those guys said abandon him. Congressman, you've taken us to today and they are vowing that this will happen. You just heard that from the vice president. You heard it from uh, Donald Trump, yeah. the president himself, in a tweet this morning. This is what he tweeted this week that started this whole conversation about the Freedom Caucus and the president will, uh, willing to, uh, vowing it. to I fight. He tweeted this, the Freedom Caucus will hurt the entire Republican agenda if they don't get on the team and fast. Yeah. He said, we must yeah. fight them and Dems in 2018. You say you saw it. What was your reaction? I heard the same kind of thing in the Wall Street bailout. And as bad a president as McCain would have been, he had a chance if he had stood his ground. We, if this bill passes, the president's uh, administration will be defined for the next four years as a fraud, as they promised repeal, and they gave more power to the government, and it's costing us more. It, it, it is going to destroy his administration, but it's a twofer for the establishment. They destroy the conservatives, the grassroots that stood by the president, and they make the president look terrible when people actually find out how bad this, right. this hurts so tell me, the American what is it, individual. What does it look like, the Freedom Caucus, working with the president moving forward? He is calling out members of the caucus by name, uh, starting right. with Justin Amash. He said Justin yeah. Amash is a big liability. Hashtag Trump train, defeat him in primary. Yeah. Uh, there's sort of threats coming from the president for members of the Freedom Caucus if they don't work together. A congressman, I would ask you, tax reform is, is another priority for this administration. What does it look it's like a working priority with the, for all of us? What does it look well, like? It, well, it uh, it a disastrous tax bill if he weakens the conservatives that would make it a good bill. So he's uh, taken advice from Priebus, who is establishment to the core. And if it keeps up, he is going to get hurt the way uh, establishment people actually hurt Reagan. The only time Reagan succeeded was when he didn't listen to the establishment folks like Priebus is today and uh, actually followed his own instinct. 
But I'm telling you, the president's administration will either succeed or fail over the next 30 days. He can work with the people that got him there, that defended him when others like Ryan and, and the establishment okay. were running scared, or he can work with us to help him fulfill his promises. But this bill does not, re it doesn't satisfy any All of right. the promises that we made. It's going to be bad. All it's right. really going to be a disaster. We wanted to get your take on that this morning. And by the way, that was Dan Scavino, the president's social media advisor that sent out that tweet on behalf of the president. Yeah. It was great to get your take on things this morning. Good to have you, sir.